Christianity, ladies and gentlemen, cannot be summarized as a set of behavior that men live by. Children of God must understand that, that there is more than just you walking in a certain manner, you carrying a certain book. No, you can have a different encounter. Some experiences I have with God. If I put it in the book, some people will say it is fiction. If I try to share it, people will say you are exaggerating. They will say you are trying to draw attention. You cannot get in the level of visions and revelations and operate in it if your own level is not strong and mature enough to sustain you there. This man heard inexpressible words. Do you understand what it means? There is more. Life as you know it is driven by things that you cannot see. This is an apostle of God. If you accept his message of love, if you accept his message of grace and reject his message of power and the supernatural, you have not embraced him at all. How can you be in your room and your man of God is on the altar of God calling on God for you? And suddenly you have an encounter with him right in your house. How did he get here? The disciples of Jesus Christ in the boat toasted by winds and waves saw Jesus Christ walking on the water. To them, they called him ghost. Do you know how many people when the revelation is missing and God is manifesting, they look and say, mm -mm, this cannot be God. He said to me, he said to me, the Lord said to him, before knowing what the Lord said, it is important to stop there and uh, ask yourself again, child of God. Does God speak? Oh, well, me, I've been a child of God for 20 years. I've never heard Jesus Christ speak to me. All I hear is the preacher saying what he reads. He's claiming that the Lord said to him. Is this far-fetched? There is a level where you can hear him speak to you directly. Never get in a place where you disqualify yourself based on the things you deem to be weaknesses to you. God has a plan for you. He said, my grace is enough.